it's Tamara at True Connection. Thanks for tuning into my channel. You're going to want to stay tuned in to this today because we're going to talk about love languages and touch. Are you or your partner touch love language people? I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to show love to your touch partner and a bonus at the end. Stay tuned. Love Languages uh, were developed by Dr. Gary Chapman. It's a brilliant system for figuring out how you want to be shown love and affection and how to show love and affection to your partner. So you're going to want to hit the description below for a free assessment. You just Google love language assessment. It takes about 20 minutes, but you don't want to assume what your love languages are. Plus you might have more than one. And this is my second video in a series. I'm going to do a video for each of the love languages so that you have 10 or more ideas for each love language. So stay tuned. Um, hit subscribe if you want to be notified in the notification bell if you want to know when those are coming out. So today's topic is you are physical touch or your partner is. So, and if you have more than one love language, you're going to want to look for the other video. And between the two of you, you could have three or four different love languages. Touch means um, that your partner wants physical touch often throughout the day. This is not about sex. Okay. <laughs> Most people love sex. This is not, that's not necessarily a love language thing. Touch is different. So if you want to learn more in depth about this, you're going to want to look in the description for the affiliate link to purchase the book, just so that you kind of have even more ideas. You can highlight it. You can refer back to it. It's not expensive. Um, and I've got the Amazon link on there for you. Your languages is a framework and a very simple one, luckily, of how to show love and affection to your partner. So there are 10 different ways. These are 10 ideas, and there are many more, of course, that you can show touch to your partner without having two hours to spend or having sex. It's about the little tiny things that you do all day that make all the difference. So when you're walking through a restaurant and you put your hand on your partner's back, you hold hands, maybe you sit next to each other in the booth at the restaurant, you snuggle up on the couch. So it's the little tiny things that will make your partner feel close to you all day, even though maybe you don't have a lot of time. You work opposite shifts. You know, you're really busy with the kids. So just walking by in the kitchen and grazing their back or grabbing their behind or giving them a little smooch. Um, and then, of course, there are the more, you know, fun things that you can do. You can grab them and into the, take them into the pantry and make out for a while. But it doesn't have to be big. And I want you to really understand that it's the tiny things. So putting your hand on their leg when you're sitting on the couch together, sitting next to them on the couch as opposed to in another chair across the room, holding hands in the car, all those little things. And this sounds easy if you are a touch person, but if your partner is not a touch person, this is the hardest one, you guys. It's so hard because someone that is non-touch Physical touch is not their love language. They are just not going to remember. It's not going to occur to them to do all these little things because they don't need it. So our fallback, unfortunately, with love languages, we automatically show love to our partner in our own language. So we are going to have to develop a whole new habit. If we don't share your love language, we have to remind ourselves and i'm talking if you need to sticky notes reminders on your phone you set up like a little schedule to remind yourself to do these little things because the touch love languages are really a primal love language and it's just instinctive i mean you can see it in your friends and your coworkers, right people who have this love language talk with their hands and put a hand on the shoulder, a hand on someone's arm, or they reach across the table, maybe not even touching anyone, but just reaching out to people and feeling comfortable kind of with that smaller personal space. So seriously, if touch is not your love language and your partner's is, you are going to have to do some major league work on this or they are going to feel rejected. And this is serious. A, you, the, your love language is not a want or a desire. 
It is a need. Your partner needs you to show love to them in this way. If you forget to touch them all day and then you come to bed and you want to have sex with them, the odds are not in your favor. So they're not going to have felt loved all day and, and definitely don't have that sex on their mind. So, you know, if let's say you've been separated all day, you couldn't touch your partner all day, that's okay. Send a text or leave a love note or do something little to show your partner that you're thinking about them. Leave a voicemail and then come home and whenever, however late it is, if your partner is still awake, maybe you can do a massage or tickle their back or cuddle in bed or, you know, have sweet kisses or something. And then maybe that will you know, lead to more. But touch has to be regular. It has to be throughout the day, not all the time. Does that make sense? So your partner, <laughs> your partner doesn't need to be touched every minute. I don't mean to imply that. But here and there throughout the day, um, because they really will feel rejected by you and sincerely hurt if they're not touched by you. They will feel unattractive, unloved, not attended to um, and feel like you're ignoring and rejecting them. And, and that's devastating. You do not want to do that to your partner because you're, it's just, you have different love languages. This is innocent and not on purpose. So to remind yourself to actually come on board with their love language, you're, you're just going to have to do whatever it takes to remind yourself to do it. Here are some more touch love language ideas for you guys. So besides the, um, like obvious massage, hug, kiss, things like that. You can make really ordinary things fun and a way to connect if you are affectionate during those ordinary things. So riding in the car, hold hands or put your hand on their leg or reach over and you know rub the back of their neck or run your fingers through their hair. Um, while you're grocery shopping, hold hands or come up behind them and give them a smooch on the back of the neck or um, you know, when you are at a restaurant, you can sit on the same side of the booth or hold hands across the table or wink at each other. When you're waiting in line at the grocery store or at Target or Sam's Club or Costco, snuggle up together while you're, you know, waiting at the cart, put your arm around each other. It's all those little touches can make really like ordinary daily tasks fun and romantic and connectors so that when you do go home and you have time to spend together, you know, you have all these little things that are bringing you closer th throughout the day that make the night then really special. Another important thing for a touch person is how do you greet each other? I'm actually doing a whole video on this process too. That's how important it is. How do you want to be greeted when you come home? And how does your partner want to be greeted? So you actually have to have this conversation because you might not agree on this. One of you might be really excited to see the other one. The other one's comatose after a long day. One wants a hug. One wants a kiss. Wants a jump into each other's arm. One wants to just collapse on the couch. One wants to get in the shower. One wants to work out. One wants complete alone time. But the other person really needs that physical connection. So have that conversation because you're greeting when you come home and then when you depart your house or your date, you leave each other that you have that special kind of connection and that you are both getting what you need out of that interaction. It can make it a great day. Practice after that. So the exciting thing is you are going to become closer through this, knowing your partner's love language. You now have the tools to show your partner every day throughout the day how to how much you care how you love them how you're excited to see them you've been thinking about them and that you really value your intimacy with them and that you want even more int intimacy and closeness with them so you will then get to do the same back for your partner right so you're going to have this reciprocating process which is going to really make you feel so connected it's so worth it and again if you need the book you know just to kind of get your brain around how this works it's short and you can go right to the page okay this is touch this is acts of service here's what i do here's how i need to understand their love language and um that can really be helpful too just so that you kind of absorb it a little bit more 
Okay, here's the bonus. There are five love languages, right? Touch, words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, and gifts. So I'm gonna do a video for each love language. This is my second in the series. And then next month, a lot of you have been asking me, what in the world do I give my partner for our anniversary or birthday or the holidays? Because how do I wrap time or touch in a gift? Great question. So I'm going to do a blog and a video for each of the love languages for gift giving ideas just to help you guys out. I know that's really tough and I'll put links in there too so that you don't have to scramble around the internet trying to find how to find these cool things. So I'm doing some really fun research for you guys. Okay, so good luck. It's a mission. Hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know when my videos are coming out and I'll see you next week with another one. Good luck guys. You can do this. You can figure this out.